Hi, I'm Nigel, and this is Nigel Goes to Space. Today's question is, what is a comet? Now, a comet is a spectacular sky sight. Uh, some people may remember comet Hale-Bopp from 1997, which hung in the evening sky as a great band of light rising up from the horizon with a tail stretching halfway across the sky. Going back into history, they were seeing as portents of doom. One appeared before the Battle of Hastings in 1066 and apparently seemed to foretell the death of King Harold. In Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar, Caesar's wife says to him, when beggars die, there are no comets seen, but the heavens themselves blaze forth the death of princes. And of course, uh, <laughs> Caesar was stabbed shortly after that. But with scientific advances, and particularly spacecraft, we now know what goes on inside a comet to make this great show of light. And in 1986, a little space probe called Giotto flew th actually through the middle of Halley's Comet and saw in the middle was what we call a dirty snowball, a few, about 10, 15 kilometers long, made up of ice, which had come in from way beyond the planets. There's a region stretching out beyond the known solar system, about halfway to the nearest star, which is called the Oort Cloud, after Jan Oort, who first uh, predicted it. Well, I should say, there was another astronomer called Ernst Erpik who also predicted it, but his name sadly tends to be a bit forgotten. The Oort cloud, anyway, is the homeland of trillions of these cometary nuclei, and sometimes one falls towards the sun. As it gets close to the sun's heat, the frozen gases and ices boil away, they sublime into space, they become a huge gaseous head, ripping out particles of dust with them, and we get the big, what we call the coma, or head, which is a big spherical region of gas and dust, that can grow to become actually as big as the sun, quite literally, very tenuous, but as big as the sun. And then the sun's radiation pressure and the stream of particles coming out, the solar wind, the forces from the sun, in other words, push the material away to form a tail stretching way across the solar system. As the comet goes around the sun and heads back into space, it starts to freeze again and the activity goes away until maybe a few decades later or hundreds or thousands of years later it'll come back towards the sun. Now spacecraft have been to about half a dozen comets now to see them in close-up and we're going to learn a lot more from the Rosetta mission which is currently orbiting around comet Karumov karamasenko and we're going to find out a lot more of our answers over the coming months so keep watching this space. If you've got any questions about space or astronomy, whether it's traveling into space or the strange objects that lurk out there in the universe, please send them in to me and I'll be very pleased to answer them for you. And don't forget to subscribe to Nigel Goes to Space on the Naked Science channel.